there is increased demand for vintage lenses on modern cinema cameras. Old photographic lenses like Helios 44, Jupiter 8 and Super Takamai lenses are all sought after by filmmakers hoping to create a different look. On the Hollywood front, the Taylor Hobson Cookspeed Pancro series has found a cult following. Used between the 1940s and 1980s, these lenses have since resurged amidst a need for a softer, more vintage look. But even in their original, unrehoused ARRI standard form, Series 2 and 3 Cookspeed Pancros in good condition sell for more than 4000 Australian dollars. For a low budget filmmaker, this can put them out of reach. That's why some filmmakers have been using Cook Kinetals, lenses that have the same optical formula and build as Cookspeed Pancros except with a much smaller image circle but also faster speed. Originating in the 1960s, there's nonetheless very little information about which film and television productions these lenses have been used on. And whilst they cover a smaller sensor than the Super 35 Pancros, the Kinetals are perfect for getting the Cook look on micro four thirds for cheap. That's not to say these lenses will cover a full sensor on the Panasonic GH5 and Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. The 9, 12.5 and 17.5 mm lenses will need cropping, which can be provided in camera through the 2.6K Super 16 mode. The 25 mm lens has slight vignetting at infinity focus, but this becomes unnoticeable with an 85% crop in 4K DCI. These lenses all fetch for up to 1,000 Australian dollars making them perfect for micro four-thirds enthusiasts. The 37.5, 50 and 75mm variants of the Cook Kinetal, however, are much more expensive due to the fact they also cover Super 35. The 37.5 lens, in particular, is also extremely rare. These lenses can fetch for the same price as a Series 2 Cook Speed Pancro. Is it worth the price? While well, the Kinetors have been described as being the smaller twin of the Cook Speed Pancros, what comes with that is the famous Cook look. When shooting wide open, your subject pops in center frame as the background swells off into the distance. In fact, my few tests with both a Cook Kinetor and Speed Pancro 25mm lens shows the Kinetor swelling much more, but that may be due to seeing more of the corners in the image circle. You also get warmer tones and pleasing contrast. There's a reason why cooks are renowned for shooting faces. What you also get is interesting but sometimes out of control flares, especially when pointing at bright light sources or the sun. The character though, more than justifies the price of a Cook Kinetal lens. The difficult part comes with adapting an ARRI standard Cook lens onto a camera. Because the whole lens rotates when you pull focus, generic ARRI standard adapters won't allow for smooth focusing. The only solution is to adapt the lens to PL through an expensive metal adapter made by only a few retailers, including Duclos and Les Boucher. From there, you can attach it to your system by stacking it into another PL adapter. A Blackmagic POX Cinema Camera 4K and Cook Kinetool 25 will hit infinity focus with this setup, but won't go beyond it. These unrehoused lenses are also very difficult for focus pulling, which you can do through a butterfly focus lever. This mechanism is difficult to use at the best of times, as the focusing system is stiff and the throw is short. And unlike most lenses, the iris control is also on the front of the lens, which can be easily bumped or moved when filming, therefore changing your exposure. Unless you're using a matte box, you can attach step-up rings to the front of the iris control ring for ND filters. However, on some of the Pancros and Kinetools, the pre-existing retaining ring cannot be removed. But if you can, you'll find the original thread is 48mm for all lenses with a Filter Brit 370 US EK6 retaining ring. Given the cost of adapting a Cook Kinetool lens onto a micro four thirds system, it really would make sense to buy a set of these lenses. Will it bother you if you can't shoot 4K with some of the smaller focal lengths? That's up to you, but I'm continually surprised and impressed by the gorgeous cinematic qualities of my Cook Kinetool 25 and I suspect this is only the beginning of my experience with these old cinema lenses.